Bob Hoover was one of the most prolific aviators to ever live, up there with Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart, and in fact, a lot of people think he was the best pilot to ever live. The accomplishments of this man and the stories worth telling are many, and you can read about them in his autobiography, Forever Flying. One of my favorite stories about Bob Hoover is about his involvement in breaking the sound barrier. After World War II, the race to break the sound barrier was speeding up, a German rocket plane known as the Messerschmitt Me 163 Comet, a real chode of an airplane, and a British fighter known as the Gloucester Meteor had come close but neither had broken the speed of sound. The United States was betting on a rocket plane made by Bell Aircraft Company called the X-1. Bob Hoover, with his position, reputation, and experience, was lined up to be the man for the job. However, Bob was kind of a troublemaker. During the lead up of the selection of the pilot to break the sound barrier, Bob got in a bit of trouble and that ruined his chances at being the first supersonic man. Bob took a Lockheed P-80 to the Springfield Airport in Ohio on the request of a friend. His friend wanted to impress his family and asked Bob if he would perform a flyby and then take credit for it. Not only did Bob perform a flyby, he performed two inverted flybys as well, but not so lucky for Bob, was the presence of the FAA, formerly the CAA, on the ground at that airport that day. There was no ADSB back then, and the jet was flying way too fast for anyone to read the tail number. However, an investigation showed that there was only one jet in the entire United States being flown that day, and that was a Lockheed P-80 piloted by Bob Hoover. Bob incurred a safety violation which was reported to his commanding officer. This particular fellow in Bob, didn't have a great relationship. His CO pulled him into his office and said the following, I am going to assign someone else to fly the X-1. You will be his backup as well as fly the chase plane. Bob was out of the running to be the first man to break the sound barrier, but there were many other worthy candidates. Enter Chuck Yeager, what a name, right? A fearless and skilled test pilot. Yeager became the primary pilot for the X-1 and on October 14th of 1947, History was made when Chuck Yeager broke the speed of sound in the Bell X-1 at a speed of Mach 1.06. Yeager's achievement marked a pivotal point in aviation history, demonstrating the feasibility of supersonic flight. Despite not being the first man to break the sound barrier, Hoover continued to contribute to the aviation industry significantly. And with that being said, that wraps up this video about how Bob Hoover almost broke the sound barrier. If you like this video, help me out by hitting that like button and then subscribing to the channel for future content. Additionally, if there's a topic you'd like me to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, blue skies and tailwinds.